Hi, I'm Mark Hennings with National Media Brands, and today I have a topic for you, which is how you can have a marketing strategy by thinking in terms of a flowchart instead of a list. I've got a question for you today. Does your marketing look more like a list or a flowchart? And this is what I mean by a list. And this is what you would see or hear from someone if you asked, what, what are you doing for marketing right now? You would hear, well, we have a website and we've added a blog to it. You know, we're up on the search engine optimization. We're, we do booths. We have brochures and business cards and AdWords. And uh, well, we actually even have, we hired a photographer last week and he took these really great photos of our products and, you know, a video. And, you know, that would sound pretty good if you're asking someone about that, right? Well, that's fine, but it's not useful if that's as far as you think about it. What you really need to do to have a marketing strategy is to take the things on your list and ask how they fit together. And I think it would look something like this as a, as a starting template. We have a blog and we run AdWords. These are to reach people who haven't heard about our business yet and they're going to hear about our business. Well, where do we take them from there? How do we get from there to turning them into a customer? They come to our website. And our website is designed with specific pages. You know, they start on one page and then they move to another page. And ultimately, where we really want to get them is to page, let's call it page three. Uh, this might be a packages page or a page that talks about your prices, something that lets you know that this person is ready to buy because they're looking at that kind of detailed information. Um, on pages one and two, maybe you have your strategic video and photos, and not to mention amazing marketing copy. From the website, uh, you'll finally want to get them to fill out a contact form. And once you have them fill out a contact form, then that feeds into your sales strategy. And maybe you have your booth over here with brochures. And then that feeds directly into your sales strategy or over to your website. But the point is, when you lay it out like this, when you think about it like this, all of a sudden you have a strategy instead of a list. And you can look at this and you can say, okay, our blog is working. It's getting people to our website. Our AdWords, they're working. They're getting people to our website. Maybe we're paying a little too much cost per click and there could be some work done. And we'll analyze that separately. Then on the website, you look at page one. Is that getting you is that getting the customer eventually down to here? And then are they filling out the contact form? And what, at what points are we having a disconnect? Where, where is the process stopping? And we can look at why, and then that begins to justify expenses like a video or high quality photography or a new website. We're not just getting a fresh new look because we're bored. We're getting a new website or new pages because these serve some kind of purpose in our flow chart, in our marketing strategy. So I hope that's useful for you in thinking about your marketing. Instead of thinking of it, of it as a list, all of a sudden everything has purpose, everything has a place. Thanks for watching.